Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Sipping with Sheer Magic. Uh, so all week, or all my videos I've been doing, y'all know I have been so excited about Thanksgiving. It is tomorrow. I'm excited. What are y'all cooking? Like, I've been in the kitchen, I'm cooking. I got my ham on, my greens is cooking. I'm making mashed potatoes. I'm making macaroni and cheese. I'm making homemade dressing. I can't wait to post my dresser so y'all can see it. Um, sweet potato pies. I think I may do some corn on a cob. Um, I don't know. I may throw in a couple other things. But yeah, so I'm cooking tonight. I wanted to jump on here and do a video for you guys for Thanksgiving Day. And I probably will hop on tomorrow, of course. But I hope y'all in the kitchen cooking too. Got y'all music on and going and all that stuff. Just making it fun. But instead of seeing what y'all sipping on, I'm going to ask what y'all sipping on. I want to make a drink with y'all. Um, we had a Zoom party the other day, a virtual Zoom party for my downline leader, Frida, for her birthday. And um, it was called the Scorpion Drink, I want to say. Um, but yeah, it was fun doing it. We had all our ingredients and stuff and... Uh, everybody made it and drank it and you know it was just really really fun so I want to make that with y'all tonight um, I was trying to save the last of my um, bourbon that I had so I can make a drink with y'all so it's not a big bottle but it's a little bit and I'll drop the ingredients and stuff in the comments because I couldn't even remember the measurements but just like with cooking you don't even measure so you can put whatever you want in there <laughs> How about that? So first off, I got my little shaker here. And we're going to add our bourbon. So I have Jim Bean bourbon. You can add any bourbon that you want to um, in there. So I have my Jim Bean bourbon. Then I have my um, Simple Syrup. Put as much in there as you want to. Like I said, I don't even measure nothing. Then you have your palm. Do y'all drink those? The pomegranate? Pomegranate juice. Okay, let me get this open. It was in the ice box, sorry. Put whatever amount that you want in there. Then we have our triple sec that you add in there as well. When I tell y'all the drink was really good, um, one of the, the drinks that she did, she wound up putting sugar on the rim of the glass and then drank it like that. And so then you get your fresh squeezed lemons and you put your lemon juice in there with no seeds, of course. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Or if you have like the squeezer, I didn't bring that in here with me, but. That way you can squeeze it into your, I need a napkin. Squeeze it into your drink. Uh, then you take it and you shake, 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 shake. Mix it all up. And I love the fact that this is so cold. Pour it into your cup. My sipping with sugar magic cup. I should have brought the sugar in here anyway because I love the sugar around the rim. Or you can take your lemon and you can cut it, put a slit in there, and put it on the side of your glass like that. Just to kind of decorate it. If you have your sugar, drink up. Oh my God, it is so delicious. It is like, yes. And this is called the Scorpion, the Scorpion drink. Oh my God, it tastes so good. So anyway, um, yeah, so happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you guys are with your family, your loved ones. Um, you're enjoying yourself. You got your music playing, your Christmas tree going up tonight or tomorrow. Um, after Thanksgiving, I haven't got mine yet. Um, I donated 
all my stuff to um, a charity years ago because I had so much stuff. So I want to just get rid of everything, start all the way over. But um, the way my front room is set up, I don't want a big tree because it's going to like be super, super crowded in there. And I don't want it to be crowded like that. So um, I'm just going to probably get like a little tree and put it up and then do the stockings and maybe something outside. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet because I'm really just trying to decide what I want to do. But um, yeah, so I'm I'm really excited. I'm really hyped. Um, I'm not going to have a bunch of companies. It's just going to be me and my aunt and maybe my mom. But um, that's fine. You know, it, it's okay. I'm good with that. Um, I'll see my family Christmas Eve. And then I'll go to my cousins or my nieces, you know, if I want to or whatever. But I just really want a peaceful Thanksgiving. I just want to be so grateful, so thankful. There's so many things to be thankful for. There's so many things that a lot of people don't have that we have and we take for granted and we gripe and complain about that other people wish they had. You know, there's people that have lost loved ones, which I've lost loved ones. Um, there's people that don't have family around um, to celebrate the holidays. So it's just them. And it gets a lot of people down, you know, and that's totally understandable because I could totally get it. I could totally understand, you know, that this is not the happiest time of year for everybody. But um, I just pray for everybody to be happy, be cheerful, um, find their happy place and enjoy their life the way that they see fit to enjoy it. Because it's, it's a crazy world that we live in. I was talking to somebody today about uh, my auntie or I was talking to somebody. Oh, me and my fiance. We was just talking about like different things of the world. Like I pray for our black men. I pray for, um, you know, our our system, you know, because the, the police are supposed to protect and serve, you know, but they're gunning our people down. They're doing this. They're doing that. And it just really makes you so sad, you know, for your loved ones to be in the streets or to go to work every day or you know, different things and stuff. Or if you get mad at somebody or your your spouse or significant other and then y'all don't talk and then you hate that something bad happens, you know. Um, it's just so much going on to where we just have to stay in prayer constantly every single day. Um, prayer for other people, not just ourselves, for other people, um, for the things that's going on, our lives, um, our health, just everything so um, I just pray that everybody's spirits is lifted. I pray that they get in their happy place, that they can find their peace, whatever that may be. And um, just go into the new year, a different person, not a different person, a better person. I should say a different, a better person. I'm trying to be a better person. I'm working on me every single day. And it's not for anybody else. It's, it's for me working on the things that I know that I need the area on being fixed at. I was on Clubhouse the other day and they were talking about how do you deal with a difficult person? Like if there's a person that's difficult, how do you deal with them and why do you keep dealing with them? And a lot of times I'll chime in, but sometimes I don't chime in. And so this time I did chime in and afterwards he was saying, how do you know you're not the difficult person? Like we can put blame on everybody else. We can say this backs up from what my last video was like, we can put blame on everybody else for the stuff that they're doing. But until we look into our own selves and see what we're doing or where we're doing things differently or where we could change things, you can't really, you can blame them, but you really can't blame them. So it, it, it comes with us fixing ourselves. It comes with us doing what we need to do to work on ourselves so we can make our next life, our next move be our best move. And so, um, I am Vicky said that and it has stuck with me, y'all. I am on day, let me see, the 26th would be my 21 day affirmation challenge. And so, um, yeah, so every day I repeat that I I am loved. I, I just go through the whole affirmation. I'm not going to tell you because I want y'all to go and look at it and get your affirmations for yourself. Um, I am Vicky and it's her affirmation. Um, but yeah, so I was just thinking about that the other day and I was like, you know, if I put God first and I work on me, then everything else will fall in place the way that it's supposed to fall in place. If things fall off, they're meant to fall off. If things stay, they're meant to stay. But you have to allow people to show up for you the way that they want to. Not the way you want to, because people ain't going to show up the way they want to. 
if people are showing you a different thing or a different light or whatever, then that's fine, you know, but sometimes you have to step back and you're like, you know what? If this person wants this, if they want that, they're going to have to show me because I'm not going to keep on X, Y, and Z, you know, period. If my mom, excuse me, if my auntie, cousin, brother want to treat me a certain way and they're like, oh, I'm trying to do better. I want to do better. Then show me. Actions speak louder than words. People can talk all day long and keep doing the same shit until they show you actions. Guess what? It means nothing. So. I am like 50 years old. I have been there, done that. I want the rest of my life to be the best years ever. I want to live my best life the way that I want to live my best life, you know? And so um, I get so excited for people. I get excited for myself, even when doing these affirmations. Like one day I was like, okay, Lord, I don't understand this, but I'm going to understand it. And you know, just doing them every day. And when I first started doing them, I would listen to Vicky say them and then I would repeat it back and I would even write it down. Now, when I get in the car and I get ready to go to work, why am I saying the whole thing with her? Like I got it memorized. I'm like, this is this 21 day affirmation thing. And I'm like, it is so, it's something how things work and stuff. And she has another one um, that uh, she's like, you better get your ticket, you know, come on aboard and stuff. And so um, it's just been exciting. It's been like, okay, what's going to happen? I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not nervous. And so I, I just, I don't know. I just really been happy. I just been excited. Um, just all the blessings that God has poured into my life. Like when I get up and we complain about our bills, I know I'm not the only one to do that, but I'm like, damn, I just paid that light bill. I just paid that water bill. Why are you back? But guess what? If they don't come back, you don't have water. You don't have lights. You don't have gas. You don't have a roof over your head. I'm always complaining about the lighting in my office because I need to change the light bulbs up there. I just called somebody today and was like, hey, I need you to come over and change the light bulbs in my office because I can't do it. And even in my hallway, like um, the light is so long. I don't have a ladder. I'm short. <laughs> I know it. But I don't have a ladder. But if there's people that I know that can do that for me, I'm going to be like, hey, um, I got a plate for you, um, whatever, whatever, how much you want to charge me. I just need these lights changed and stuff. But my lighting in my office being dark is better than being in a dark place with no lights, no office. So I'll do whatever I need to do, turn the other light on or whatever to record my videos and keep it moving. And I'll get that light changed. It'll get done this weekend. But um, it's little bitty things like we, we have to stop complaining and just say, Lord, I thank you. But this, Lord, I thank you. But that we want to accelerate. We want to be, oh my God, I can't believe I just said that accelerate. That was a word that, okay. So yeah, accelerate anyway. But, um, uh, we want to grow. <laughs> that is so funny. I just said accelerate. I wish I could tell y'all the whole story. Um, but yeah, um, we want to accelerate in life and everything. And we may be right here and we may be stagnant for a minute. But it's like you have to appreciate the things that God has blessed you with on this level before you can get to this level. Because some people is just going to stay at this level. Don't mean that you're stuck. That means that you are at a place where God has keeping you for a while because he wants to humble you. He wants to make sure that you know that I am God. I am the one. I am the reason why you are here. I'm the reason why this. I'm the reason why that. Because some people, they can get a little bit step up and they just so they... Oh, it wasn't, it's this, this, and that. I did it, 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 it. I'm like, man, humble yourself. You know, and some people have a higher power and that's totally fine. But anything that I do, all my blessings and everything come from God. I'm so appreciative. I'm so grateful. No, I don't want no expensive Range Rover. No, I don't want no, you know, house with this, this, and that. Let me afford what I have right now. Let me keep what I have right now because I feel like, no, I don't have a lot. But what I do have, I'm grateful for and I want to continue to take care of them because this is what God blessed me with. You know, you can't be like everybody else. You can't um, try to be on the Joneses level. Some of the Joneses can't even be on their fucking level. You know, just stay on your level. Humble yourself. Thank God for where you are and just keep on going. With my t-shirt business, my bedroom candy business, my YouTube business, I want to grow, grow, grow. I want to see things. I want to put in a t-shirt order so I can have a, a thing to stock all my t-shirts up with, you know, 
Um, I'm moving my house and stuff around, so I'm going to put the things downstairs. I moved my office, both of my offices upstairs or whatever, but I'm about to start moving some things around and stuff so I can just have space to put my um, back order. But all that takes time. You can't do everything overnight. Like with my YouTube channel, I'm like, oh my God, I need to edit this. I need to do this. I need to do that. I just started my YouTube channel. I can't be like some of y'all that's got been for six, seven years as YouTubers. You know, I have to crawl before I walk and I'm willing to do that because I want to look back and see my progress. I want to see like how far I've came um, from, you know, where I started with anything that I do. You know, I went two stepping last weekend or last Thursday. And when I tell y'all, it was so much fun. Like I've never two stepped before. I've never went to a class. And my instructor was so patient. He was so like, he gave great instructions. And it was really fun because I, I got outside my box. I don't do clubs. I've never been a club person, but I want to go two-stepping. So it was at a club and I'm like, you know what? I'm doing it. I didn't have a Zoom call. I didn't have happy hour. I could have came home and did whatever. I'm like, you know what? I'm about to just go enjoy Kiba. Just go two-stepping. So when I get on the dance floor, instead of being in the middle, I can go out there, you know, and be in the front and stuff. Because when I go to wedding parties or birthday parties and stuff, I'm too shy to be in the front. Because I'm like, I can't, you know, dance like these people. But when I went two-stepping last week and I was getting the steps, the music was going, you know, I was trying to get the beat and everything and stuff. And I made a couple of mistakes, but he was still like, hey, you're doing really good. And so um, the guy kept telling me like to lift my head up because I kept trying to follow his feet, you know, his footsteps. He kept on being like, lift your head up, you know, so you can see me, you know. And so it was an hour and a half of fun. I met new people. These people were so cool, so down to earth. And, you know, that's what it's about and everything. And they was like, we'll see you at the next class and stuff. Mind you, on Thursdays, I have my Zoom calls. So I'm like, well, man, I don't want to miss the two-stepping classes. But at the same time, I don't want to miss my Zoom classes. So I said, okay, I'm going to alternate. And the second and fourth Thursdays of the month, I'll do my happy hour and my Zoom with Bedroom Candy. And then the first, third, or maybe y'all, the other two Thursdays, then I'll go um, two-stepping, you know, so I can just try to have a balance. But um, I don't want to just go one class and then just don't do it no more. You know, I, I don't want to fall off. So I, I'm excited about two-stepping. I was stepped outside my comfort zone. I did it. And it was so much fun. He was like, next time, y'all wear y'all's heels. And I'm like, I don't wear heels. Like, I've never been a heel person. I wear wedges, you know. He's like, okay, wear your wedges. He said, but I want y'all to feel what it's like if you go to a club or if you're at a party, you know, like not tennis shoes, not boots, whatever the case may be, you know, put your sexy on all this stuff. And I'm like, OK, I got it. I'm ready. So, um, yeah, it's just just living your best life, having fun, doing it and uh, just making things work for you. Um, I, I don't know how to swim. That's my next thing I want to do, because I'm scared the hell of water and I'm a Pisces. <laughs> But I am scared to get in the water. I think I'm going to drown. Like, I think the water is so beautiful, especially when I go to Jamaica. The water is so blue and pretty and clear. But I'm so scared to get in there. Like, I'll go in the pool and stuff, but it only goes, like, up to here. So I I, I really want to learn how to swim and just, um, just make it happen. And so, uh, I don't know. Just step outside your comfort zone, but... I'm going to hop off here because I'm about to go check my greens. I'm not putting nothing else on tonight because I don't have no more space in my icebox. So that means I'm going to have to get up tomorrow, do my sweet potato pies, um, mashed potatoes, all that stuff. You can do quick and easy. You know, like I said, I don't have no time limit because nobody's coming over. Um, so I can sleep in for a little bit and then get up and, you know, make my sweet potato pies and um, do the rest of the stuff that I need to do. I'm going to watch some football tomorrow. Um, what else did I say I'm going to do? Go see my auntie, watch some football, cook, eat, make a video tomorrow. And I'm just going to be thankful. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be thankful, grateful for everything. I'm just going to take in the day. I'm going to soak it in. I'm not going to let no negative energy come my way. I'm not going to let, you know, I, I have to control myself sometimes because I'm really working on the things that I need to work on. And so 
I'm just going to be praying tomorrow. Just get myself in a little prayer space and everything and just pray for me to be better and to work on the things that I need to work on um, for a better Kiba. And then Friday, I am going to be writing in my book. I'm about to get a book going and I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And so I've been trying to write in it every day. But Friday, I'm going to really sit down because I'm off. Um, I'm going to do a little online shopping, not a whole bunch because I got a budget this year. Like I ain't trying to overdo a lot. I'm trying to buy some stuff for my businesses. And um, like I said, my bonus kids will get money. I'm going to get them a little bit of some. I want to do them like baskets, like personal baskets and stuff. Um, but I'm going to do that for them. But uh, I set myself on a budget, so I'm not going to go crazy. Um, but everything is online. It's discounts, coupons, and all that stuff. But uh, I'm going to write in my book on Friday because I really am pushing for my book to be out in February. But it may not be February. It may be a little bit longer, depending on how things go. And so... Um, I'll let y'all into my little life, probably the next two videos about what, about what my book is going to be about. Um, so yeah, um, I just want you guys to live your best life, be happy, be grateful in where you are in your life. Continue to stay prayer, pray, continue to stay prayed up for your family, your friends, your loved ones, because we are living in a crazy world. And um, I am about to get off of here so I can go finish cooking my dinner for tonight in Wusa. So what are y'all sipping on? Drop it in the comments. Um, I'm going to drop the ingredients and stuff in there for this drink because like I told y'all, it is really good. I don't know if y'all are a bourbon drinker. I've always been. Okay, I ain't going to say that. That's a lie. I was about to say I've always been a gin drinker or a vodka drinker, but that's a lie. I drink dark, light. It don't matter. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to try something different. So we did the the bourbon drink and it was really good and stuff. And so um, I'll put that in there and let me know what y'all are sipping on. And I will see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. And hit that notification button so whenever y'all uh, are doing anything, y'all can know when Sipping with Sheer Magic is coming to the stage. So y'all can hear what I'm talking about. I appreciate, once again, all my supporters, all my YouTube watchers. Um, I appreciate the love, the support that everybody is giving. Follow my other YouTube family, y'all. Go to who I'm subscribed to. Follow all of them. Comment, like. It's all about supporting. Like my last video, it's about support and support, support. Go and support them and everything that they do. Well, I got the hiccups tonight. It ain't the drink. Good Lord. Um, but yeah, follow my YouTube family. Subscribe to their pa their pages, their channel. Watch them. They are hilarious. Goodness. But okay, y'all. Until next time, be safe. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you guys. Smooches and have a good night. Sheer Magic is out.